Welcome to Oxford Reading Club Learning Management System, where you can see your students' reading progress. To get started, you'll need a desktop computer or laptop. This can be Windows or a Mac, or a tablet device, and an internet connection. The Learning Management System is not optimised for smartphones. How to sign into the Oxford Reading Club Learning Management System? Go to lms.oxfordreadingclub.com Sign in with your email address and password. You will have received these in an email sent from Oxford Reading Club once your administrator has set up your account within the system. If you've forgotten your password, click the Reset Password button on the login screen, then enter your email address and click Reset. You'll be sent a link in an email which you can click on to reset your password. The first thing you will see after signing in is a dashboard which shows an overview of your institution, such as the number of classes, number of teachers, and students enrolled. How to access your classes and see students' reading progress. Click on the Classes button in the navigation bar on the left of the dashboard to see the classes that have been set up for you by your administrator. Select the class you want to view the reading progress for. Scroll down to see all the students in that class and their progress in the current month at a glance. You can see the number of books and words they've read in the current month and the amount of time they've spent reading. Click on the arrows underneath each of the column headings to see your students' reading progress in descending or ascending order. You can quickly see who has read the most books and words and who has spent the most time reading. How to listen to students' voice recordings. Click the Listen button in the Recorded Sentences column to hear your students' voice recordings. Click on the Play icon next to each voice recording in the pop-up box that appears to listen to them. They see a dog. Come and help, they say. Click Close to return to the class screen. How to set a reading target. Click the Edit button at the top right of the class screen, then type the number of words you want your students to read in the Word Counts Goal field at the bottom of the pop-up box that appears. Click Apply, then click Apply again in the next box to set the reading target. How to set a reading assignment. You can assign books to your students in your classes. In the Classes screen, click on the class you want to assign a book to. Then select the New Assignment button on the right. In the side panel that appears on the right, type the title of the book you want to assign in the search field. You can search by title, level or series. Select the book you want to assign using the tick box next to it. You can continue to search for other titles if you want to assign more than one book. Click the Next button once you've selected all the books you want to include. Choose the start date using the calendar. Students will receive the assignment on this date. Then select the date the assignment is due. Then click Next. You can check the details of the assignment on the next screen. Click the previous button to go back and amend it, or click Create to set it. Students can see the details of the assignment in their My Assignments tab when they next sign in to Oxford Reading Club, after the start date you have selected. You can see an overview of the progress of the assignments you set in the Assignments area of the Classes screen in the Completion Status column on the right. You can see more details by clicking on the assignment and scrolling down in the pop-up window that appears to see how each individual student is progressing. Click on the individual student's name to see how many of the reading steps they have completed the number of sentences they've recorded, and the date and time they last read each book in the assignment. You can click on Listen in the Recorded Sentences column to hear them. How to access and download individual student reading reports. In the class screen, click on the student's name. You can see the number of words and books read and the time spent reading by month in a bar graph and how near the reading target they are. To see the report in more detail by month, use the calendar buttons to select the year and month you want to view the student's reading progress for, 1 being January and 12 being December. 
You can see a list of the books they've read that month, the date they last read them, and which steps of the five-step reading process they have completed for each book. You can also listen to any voice recordings by clicking Listen in the Recorded Sentences column. The man's hungry. He wants to eat the turnip. You can download the monthly report by clicking the Download PDF button and add a comment for the student. The report will open in another window and provides even more information like their daily average study time and reading patterns, such as the time of day they study. You can share the reports with your students to show them and discuss their progress. How to download the reading reports for all students in a class in one go. In the class screen for the relevant class, click on the down arrow next to student records and select monthly reports. Use the calendar buttons to select the year and month you want to view the student's reading progress for. Click the download PDF button. The monthly reports for all students in the class will open in another window. You can save these to your device if you want to. How to export and download the class gradebook. You can export and download the progress of all the students in a class over a specific period of time in an Excel file. In the class screen for the relevant class, enter the start date and the end date for the period of time you want to export your students' data for, using the calendar pop-up in each field. Click the Download Excel button. The class data will open in an Excel spreadsheet, which you can then save to your device if you want to. Need more help? Send us an email at eltsupport at oup.com.